Hey, how are you? Nathan here from PH Studios, and welcome back to another artificial intelligence tutorial. Last video, we discussed a way to seek, which is having one object being directed towards another object, or you can expand on that and have it being directed towards a position if you want to. And in this tutorial, we're going to discuss the opposite of that, which is fleeing. Instead of directing towards the object, we want to direct it away from the object. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive right into the code. So we pretty much have the same setup. One enemy and one player. The enemy is going to be traveling towards the player. Uh, we can either... I enabled it to where I can control it, or we throw in the seek artificial intelligence, what we did last time. And uh, that is two ways to demonstrate it. So f at first, I will do a controlled experiment, which is I can move the enemy with my arrow keys up, down, left, right. And the player will flee if the enemy gets close enough. So pretty much the same setup. One player, one enemy. One enemy is going to be going towards the player. And instead of the player going left to right and then bouncing off the side of the screen, it's actually going to do the flee algorithm. Alright, so this is the player controlled. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, so fleeing, it's pretty much the exact same thing as seeking, except we're doing the opposite. If you look at the vector 2 here, and the seeking, if you look at the vector 2 for the seek, we subtract the target, we say target position minus source position. In the fleeing, we are doing the source position minus the target position. So we're doing the same thing, just the opposite. Okay, so everything else is pretty much the same thing. We normalize it, then we multiply it based on the speed. And then we set the velocity to that vector 2 that we calculated and the rotation. However, we are going to flee if we reach a certain distance. And in order to do that, we pass in the distance threshold here. So if the length of the vector... I will post the vectors tutorial again for this video. Uh, but the length of the vector is basically the speed of velocity or something like that. It's the length of the vector. You have an X component and a Y component, then the length of the vector. So if the length of the vector is less than the distance, which means we're just calculating the distance from the player to the enemy or the source to the target. And if there, if it's less than the distance threshold, we need to do our fleeing. It's the enemy is getting close, so I need to move away from it. If it's not, and we are still moving, we need to set it to a zero velocity. So if we are clear, if the distance is, if the length of the vector is greater than the distance. We need to stop moving if we are not already uh, standing still. So that's pretty much fleeing. That we just do the same thing as we did with seeking. And we will expand on this in later tutorials. These are just a uh, quick little tutorials. Kind of get things going. And then we'll go into more complex things. And we'll do a advanced seek and advanced flee uh, algorithm. So anyway, that's how you, it does fleeing, and I mentioned that I will do player controlled right away. So I press F5, and I'll go ahead and start the game. Alright, so I can move the enemy around with my up, down, left, and right. Left and right just rotates it, up and down moves it forward or backwards. So I'm just going to move around here, trying to get to a nice position. And then I'll go towards the player here. And it's doing a flea operation right now because it's about, I think I set it up as 200 pixels apart. So you can increase or decrease the threshold. And it does a, a fleeing based on the angle from the enemy to the player. As you see, as I orbit the player, it's changing its rotation because it's trying to get to the best case direction to flee. You want to avoid it as as quickly as possible, so you want to choose the best direction. So it tries to avoid it as quick as possible, so it uses that angle between the player and the enemy to its advantage, and then just moves the opposite direction. Alright, 
so let's go ahead and turn the player control off and turn on seeking. Now this is using both artificial intelligence. I'm not touching the keyboard right now. The enemy is moving towards the player and the player is going to automatically do its fleeing operation because it's still moving towards it. So anyway, these are very basic algorithms. We will expand on those later on. Uh, but this is just to get things going. So we have a flea operation. And if you're within a certain distance, it will move away from the uh, enemy. Because it's getting too close. It needs to be a certain distance away from me. And I don't want it to kill me. So that's its algorithm. So anyway, it was a very, very quick tutorial. That was probably loud. Sorry about that. It was a very quick tutorial. Uh, but we basically discussed the seeking in great detail. I think it was about a 15-minute video, 10, 15 minutes. And since this is basically the same thing, but we're moving in the opposite direction, there's really not much more to talk about. All right, so next tutorial, we'll be getting into more complex stuff, and we'll be talking about wandering. If we just throw a game object into this game world, it will be able to wander around the screen. Now, all these can be very basic or very complicated. If you want it to, for example, the wandering, if you want it to learn the environment, you can have it learn the environment. That way it doesn't wander to the same location a thousand times. Like, if it's focused on the right side of the game screen, if it's still there ten minutes later, hasn't even touched the left side of the screen, uh, you can change that up with having it learn it. Say, so I've already been to this location, so I need to focus on an area that I have not been to. So all these can be very simple, as you see here with the seeking and fleeing, or they'll be complex. So, the way I'll organize these tutorials is we'll start out with the simple ones, seek and then flee. We already did those two. Then we'll talk about wander, obstacle avoidance, and hide. Then we'll redo them in a more complex way. And then we'll also add them all together so we can have an enemy wander and uh, both wander and flee. And, and one enemy seeking, they both do obstacle avoidance and maybe have the one that wants to flee, hide as well. So we'll also combine them all at the very end of this movement segment. And we'll see what it looks like at the very end of that. And then we'll move on to grouping, which is flocking and also formation. If you want to have like a V formation or Y formation. Uh, something that you can let the program know what formation you want it to be in. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Next tutorial for this weekend is going to be a networking tutorial. The next tutorial for the artificial intelligence will come out next weekend and we'll discuss wandering. So I hope to see you next time.